I am fascinated with how we dress before we dress. What secrets do we hide? My name is Sarah Nilsson, the singing costumer, and this is Unmentionables Through the Decades. The next piece I made in my 1900s ensemble was the chemise. This was the first layer a lady would put on when dressing. A similar garment called a shift also functioned as a nightgown from about the medieval period to the 18th century. But from what I gather, nightgowns and chemises were different items by this time period. A wealthy Edwardian lady would no doubt own many chemises and nightgowns, both everyday and fancy. A lady of more modest means might only own a few. I use more of the same green sheets to match the drawers. Again, I use the Edwardian undergarments pattern by Truly Victorian. Overall, it's an easy to follow pattern. The only part that was challenging was inserting the front and back yoke. You have to gather the main body of the chemise to fit the yoke. Then you attach the sides in a particular way. On the front yoke, I added the beaded trim and on the back yoke, I did not. Otherwise, the front and the back look very similar. In the end, all the raw edges are folded over and covered. The inside is neat and tidy, which I appreciate. Just take the time to read the instructions and an intermediate sewist should have little problem. I was a little low on fabric because I used recycled materials, so I had to shorten it a few inches. Thankfully, I am short and it's still plenty long enough. The white beaded trim and yellow ribbon are the same as used on the drawers. I love matching outfits so much. The whole effect is so fresh, light, and clean. So spring. I don't know about you, but I need something bright and cheerful right about now. Beading trim is a trim, usually white or cream, that has slits incorporated into the design. Contrasting ribbon is woven in and out of these slits. The effect looks like little beads of color on the surface. This was a very popular style of trim in period and ever since. I almost chose lavender instead of this yellow ribbon, but I think I made the right choice here. On both the chemise and the drawers, I hand sewed all the trim. This way the stitches don't show on the right side of the garment. From my online quick and casual research, a lady of the Edwardian era would wear her drawers under her chemise. When the chemise was shown tucked into the drawers, it was usually an ad for the drawers themselves. In an ad, the product must be visible, so that makes sense. I am showing both styles here and in the previous video simply to show the drawers. Again, as with the drawers, I only regret using too little trim. Both of these pieces should be much more ornate and detailed, but I still love this set so far. I think I'll have to tackle a corset myself. Ah, wish me luck. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're of the mind to do so. Wishing you creativity and a dash of pixie dust. Bye for now.